Hello guys, how you doing? Here I am, over here. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, the bald guy. Yeah, yeah. Here I am. Hello guys, right, if you're watching this video, there's a strong chance, a possibility that you might be just as addicted to this game as what I am. Uh, I've got a cool little new thing to show you here, if you don't know about it already. It's the Pixels Game Assistant. Look at this. There is the task page. Three main windows to look at here. You've got the tasks. Uh, okay, here's the home page, but that's irrelevant now. We've got the marketplace, the timer, and the tasks. So we're looking at the tasks while we're in the shop here. And you can see our current orders. This is our orders list here, currently marked in a fruit. Oh, excuse me. Now, if we have a look at our orders, you'll see it syncs up with the tasks window here. we have brought along a couple of things. We'll just deliver these. Deliver the Sith Fiber and the Razzleberry. And you'll see here, it syncs up with the extension. Five minute timers ticking down so we'll come back here in a little minute and i'll show you that this will always stay synced and updated that will definitely save you some time writing things on a notepad <laughs> okay the marketplace so let's say you want to sell something like flower you type in flower you view the listings all right 330 so shall i sell it 229 then you know we'll skip all of that you don't need to do that anymore just go over to the market tab here and I'll, I'll read out to you it says when you create a new item to sell in the marketplace the pending sell orders list of items will be shown here also the price per item and quantity input will be automatically filled up just like this click sell create I'm just going to do where's my single flower right so there's my right there's my flower add it and there you go, boom, look, it automatically filled it in 350 and I've got one to sell based on the current sell list, the current sales. I'll just show you another quick example. I'll just show you another example. I've got some Iron Knight here. There's three of those. Add them and again, look, just, just builds it in for you. It's going to save you such a lot of time when you're, when you're dealing with the marketplace for sure. Yeah, where did they go? They're not even showing up. If I just, did they just sell? I think they'd sold so quickly it didn't even appear on the list. Let me see. Bloody hell, yeah, they did look. Just sold them instantly. Okay. And while you're here, I'll show you the, the final important page, and that would be the timers page. So you see here, I've got relevant timers where to go and collect my bees, where to get my block of bricks, etc. Now these are custom timers, which you can just create yourself very easy. For example, the block of bricks, that's finished, it says they're finished. So that refers to over at the furnace here, the kiln, whatever you call it. Here's my blocky bricks. And then now if I craft, so if I craft another bricks, you see it takes 24 minutes. So I'll click create and then, and then nothing because we don't have enough energy. Oh, yeah. Typical. <laughs> Two seconds. Glug, 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 glug. All right, good. So yeah, block of bricks, 24 minutes, create. And then I can go over in my little list here that I created before and just refresh it. I already set it up for 24 minutes. You see there, restarted. And it's in here, my name go. So 23 minutes, 50 seconds. I know that that can come back here. You see here, the other one that's finished is my butter brew. So again. Right, but just so you see how it works, I'll cross this off, I'll delete this, and I'll just create a new one so you see exactly how it's done, right? So you would create your item, just whatever it is that you're going to make. In this case, it's Butter Brew. Create eight minutes. So then I'll go up here, custom, just type in whatever you want to call it, Butter Brew. Set the timer for eight minutes. And add. And it's as simple as that. And now it's on the list, and it'll let you know when it's finished. And as you've seen before, you can just 
click refresh and it'll restart the timer. The B's at B times four, there's a little tip for you. I know a lot of people find it hard where to put the bees, to find the beehives, to collect extra honey. The one and only land that I can find at the moment, I hope this helps you out, is 2655. Go there, there's four hives. Take four bees with you and go and grind some honey there. I've already got my bookmarks filled up, so I just use the teleporter and go there quite often. So there it is, there's a Pixels Guild Assistant, that's me, Slam Dunk. There's some information. Apparently they're going to keep updating it. There might be, it's completely free. Uh, they've already said that they might add some premium features in the future, but for the meantime it's completely free and it's going to save you a hell of a lot of time. You can see that my tasks, my orders still need updated. So I just want to show you, it's just a case of walking back up to the desk. And when you click on orders, it'll just sync your new orders. Boom, there you go, see? And I just happen to have some of them, so we'll deliver that. And again, waiting on new task, five minutes. And it's, 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 it's amazing. It's, it's, a, it's a game changer, really, having a little uh, extension like this. I'm sure for those of you, if you play this game and you don't know about this, I think it's going to be a godsend, right? You can feel free to thank me in the comments. <laughs> Right, okay guys, well, that's it for now. Take care. I'm going to do more Pixels content, so if, if you want to see more, please let me know. I'll try my best. I'll say goodbye, and if you want to see this uh, NFT land with the wasps, I'll just let you see that. It's a cool dog. Take care. Bye-bye.